guys, um, you're probably not going to be able to see my face or whatnot, but I'm just trying to show y'all me doing this in the frame. My um, <laughs> Instant Pot. I'm going to be doing my black beans, and I just want to show y'all. So, I have my, wait, darn it, you know what, I didn't even cut, oh damn. <laughs> I didn't cut nothing up. You didn't cut nothing up. Hold on, I'll be right back. I forgot. Hold on. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Sorry, I thought I had my mm -hmm. onions uh, chopped up and it wasn't. Sorry, y'all, this is the best view I can give y'all. <laughs> my kitchen is very small and I'm doing the best that I can. I just want to show y'all me making these beans. So I already have my beans already um, washed and picked through. So, you know, the whole thing with the Instant Pot is you can go from dry to cooked in less than an hour. So these are already just rinsed over and picked through. And I'm gonna put these in first. Are you pouring this, nigga? Yes. Let me hit my foot. And then I put in some onion. This is just uh, almost a whole onion, like whatever. I'm just putting that in there. And I'm gonna put in, I like spice though, so I'm putting in a serrano pepper. Poke a couple holes in it. I already washed and um, sanitized my uh, instant pot. I did the little the little test run for the instant pot. Sorry, I guess I feel like this, but I already did the little test run and made sure everything was working functionally. It is, and yeah, so just gonna cook now. But yeah, so then I'm gonna put in. My seasonings. I'm about to season this with a bunch of different stuff, y'all. I'm about to put some fresh garlic. Ooh, put some garlic in. A couple things of garlic. I like garlic heavy food. I'm put like two heaping things of garlic. I just use min minced garlic. Um, this is um. Kirkland from Costco garlic and then I'm gonna put some cumin I'm put like maybe a half I like cumin and I like the smoky flavor so maybe put a half palmful or a palmful of cumin and my well maybe two or one and a half of cumin I like the smoky smell I like cumin so if you don't like cumin then don't do what I'm doing I'm gonna put a little bit of onion I'm just gonna measure with my palm. I had a spoon, y'all, but I'm just gonna measure my palm with my palm. Uh, some onion powder. There's onion in there, but I want it uh, more. Um, a little cayenne, a little bit. I don't know if I need that. Okay, y'all. This is just my. I don't. I don't even really usually do this. Like I'm just doing this for the sake of this. Uh, thing and this is the Badia 14 spice I like this spice it's actually really good like all pur purpose and it's um what I love about it y'all see that right there sodium free it's a good seasoning agent of food and stuff and there's no sodium in it so that's why I like it um it's got a lot of different seasonings in it I'm just gonna sprinkle some in here it's good. I see. like it. Here, my. Mm. But, um. Mm. Oh, okay. I like this brand. A little sabor. Um. Well. It's a little bit. Just a little. For the beans. A little flavor. Okay. I like very flavorful beans, y'all. Um. And I, there's enough. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of smoked paprika. <laughs> Salud. Um. I'm putting a little bit of smoked uh, paprika because I can't find my regular paprika. You put your nose on in there, son? Just yeah, a little bit smoke. of smoke. It smells good. I got, that, I, got that, I got that seasoning, but I, I, it's a smaller jar. Some and they brand. say it's okay to put the salt, so I'm going to do that. I'm, mm -hmm. salt. They said it's okay to put the salt while it's cooking because usually I don't season, salt my beans till after, mm -hmm. but they say it's okay to do that now, so I'm going to do it now, and hopefully y'all... It's alright. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna put a lot. I'm just gonna put 
always season them. I would never order it after. Never afterwards. Well, you're not supposed to season your beans, uh, salt your beans until after is what the rule, the rule oh, yeah. is. I've been doing that in my mom for years. Well, I'm just <laughs> saying what they say. Um, so I'm just gonna give it a little toss around, y'all. Just tossing it. Um, yeah. And then I'm going to just fill it, uh, about an inch over the water line. I mean, an inch over the, um, hopefully. This is a pound of beans. I don't know if I said that. Um, I just wanted to cover the beans over. So, they're covered, like, maybe, like, let me see, I'm going to stick my finger. Like, a finger's worth over, like, a, like my little tip of my finger's worth over the beans. Y'all, this is my first time. It's trial and error, y'all, because I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, I've seen a lot of people do it, and I'm not sure. Um, I got some cilantro, putting some in. Uh... I'm just gonna. This is already uh, washed. I already, I already washed it. So I'm just gonna cut some and put it in. We're having uh, chicken tacos tonight, but these beans are gonna be for a lot of different things because it makes a lot of beans once it's cooked. I gotta save some for my chicken. So I'll just put, you know, a few things of cilantro and start it. I'm not making no salsa. I got some pico already. That's yeah, from around the corner. That pico is delicious. I like that. We pico. got some pico from around the corner. <laughs> yeah, I made him. I made Nate like go it. there when I made um that steak. I made him go there. I always make my own, but it's all it's, it's, uh, I was over here. I go around there. Uh, yeah, I make my own long time. Now, you all right, y'all. I don't make my own. Um, well, yeah, I'm, we make some too, but whatever. This is fine. Um, yeah, I'm like. Shoot, shoot. I wish I was going to. So I'm gonna close. Close, close it, lock it, and um, the valve is down. Uh, the little pressurized thing, there's like a little, I'm not gonna, sorry y'all, I'm not gonna take it off the thing because it's too much to do, but I'm going to put it on, what, where's the bean thing? Bean and grain, and I'm gonna take off some time. I'm gonna take it to 20, it says between 20, and 25 minutes and then I've watched a lot of videos and a lot of people were saying like some people cook it to 20 minutes some people cook it to 25 minutes or more I'm some people put it, it to 27 and I'm gonna put it to 20 mm -hmm. I can put it to 26 I put it to 27 and come back. And I don't hope I don't want a mushy but I do want some soft enough because sometimes what I usually do is because uh, I like to have like a like a sauce in my beans kind of more cuban style i guess um and i'll take some beans out and i'll blend them up excuse me and then put them back in my crock pot and then mix it together and then it you know it makes like for a more thicker uh sauce um but y'all this is just me doing this on here and we'll see i don't think they're gonna be overcooked but i uh it right now it just says on um, it says on because it hasn't come to pressure yet. Once it comes to pressure, then the time will start. But so if you got an Instapot, I had to learn that. If you have an Instapot, you have to allow the time. Not that anything takes a long time because, I mean, if you're making black beans, <laughs> it's going to take you hours or overnight soaking and all that mm -hmm. stuff. So, mm -hmm. you know, just allow yourself like an hour and then you can have beans. But allow the timing for the pressure. Like... It takes some, like, I don't know, I don't remember how long it took. No, because it doesn't really, sometimes it doesn't tell you, like, some people, it doesn't really mention that, like, it just says when it comes to pressure, but it doesn't tell you it's going to take so-and-so time for it to come to pressure. It doesn't really say that in the manual. Um, yeah, so that's why I looked up a lot of different uh, videos, and thank you to a lot of people who told me that it you need a several, like, at least, I think maybe, like, five, ten minutes to come to pressure. Then, if you wanted to do the quick release when you press the mm. the valve, mm. then it'll come, uh, it'll depressurize quickly. But I'm going to allow my beans to, um, 
naturally come uh, come to pressure so they can so I want my beans cooked thoroughly because I've had times where like I don't know y'all so I'm making beans and it takes like a while like in my crock pot I just cook them all day so I'm not used to pressure cooking and I've never pressure cooked before so I'm just trying to make sure that my beans is done <laughs> yeah. so yeah excuse you <laughs> that was my mama, y'all. But um, yeah, so I will be back and I will let y'all know how these beans come out. Thanks. And so I see y'all in like two seconds because I'm probably gonna just like edit this so you see it. What? But all right. Sorry, y'all. My kitchen is so cluttered right now. I tried to take out all the ingredients so y'all can see it, and I tried to. You know, do everything so y'all can see, but it's there's hard. a lot of stuff on my counter and it's hard, y'all. You gonna say something? Go Hi there. <laughs> you just go look. Hi there, YouTube. Hi there, All right, right y'all. We'll see y'all in a minute. Peace.